Okay, for BF Press users, I'm going to demonstrate exactly what's going on um, and why uh, Mark Edit's not working, and at least uh, in the current versions, um, uh, and how you can work around it. So, um, the problem is that uh, right now it looks like BPress is actively filtering um, on specific keywords, and so in Mark Edit, uh, there are two particular user agents that might be used. One is uh, C Sharp OAI Harvester, uh, which is the default component that Marketit uses, and one is Marketit 7 OAI Harvester, which um, is uh, been used in Marketit 7. So, um, if you use either of these two user agents, uh, we can go ahead and run them, um, and you'll see right away uh, the flag out. So, here we get a 503. We toss that one and use the current default and run it. Uh, same thing. So I, I was originally wondering if they were what keywords they were looking for. Um, I believe it's the OAI harvester part is what they're looking at. So when I run against just OAI harvester, uh, again we get the error. So it appears that the um, uh, B press is actively filtering anything with the words OAI Harvester together, which is going to catch the two Mark Edit user agents. Um, if I use uh, something without those combination of agent uh, words, though, uh, everything works just fine. So in this case, I, I took the harvesting string off, and you can see that the um, error doesn't happen. And if I let it go, it would take about 100 seconds because it's a it's kind of a slow process, but um, there, same thing if I use a custom user agent, I can run it. And again, uh, we'll see um, it doesn't air right away. Uh, if we were to wait uh, 100 or so seconds, um, it would be fine. So starting um, in the current version that I'm uploading, I've added to Mark Edit, so OAI Harvester, um, an option in the advanced settings to actually change the user agent. So by default, it sticks with Mark Edit 7, OAI Harvester. It's what I prefer. Um, it's there specifically so OAI um, providers um, uh, know which agent is actually communicating with them. Um, and I have had in the past vendors um, uh, chat with me about the, the process that gets used um, in uh, Mark Edit uses standard HTTP codes, um, particularly retry after, so there are ways that um, servers can be formulated to um, have the uh, process um, uh, take a fairly light touch. Uh, so um, there's really no reason for the filtering. Anyways, if you happen to be a BPress user and you're in a position where you've used Mark Edit in the past um, until um, uh, you've either had a conversation with the folks there um, about uh, disabling the filtering, um, or uh, find that you need to um, uh, change the user agent so that um, you can uh, get at your data, um, you can actually change the user agent here. So you would set up your configuration, I'm just going to pick um, a fake one. Uh, you go to your user agent and you can either select one of the pre-selected ones, which um, either spoofs uh, Firefox or Internet Explorer. Um, or you could change your own to your own user agent. Um, so my institutional agent, um, and then use that. Uh, if you um, if you end up having a conversation with BPress and they're intent on continuing filtering for whatever reason, um, it would probably be in your best interest to um, have a conversation with them to let them know what your user agent is, uh, custom user agent is, so that they know that for your um, institution that's the uh, the agent that's going to be harvesting content from your server um, that way it's not a uh, you know continue to be you're not continually blocked um, but as far as I can tell that's what's going on um, hopefully the, the update helps unstuck the half dozen to two dozen folks that I've been hearing from um, that's about the best I can do right now